Hello and welcome back to Homebrew MTG. It's Monday, it's time for magic. It's Magic Monday, where we'll be opening a pack and as if it was a draft pack, we're going to be thinking and picking which is the best card in that booster pack. We are going to annoy this little marmoset more by going into its guts and hopefully trying to pick a super cool magic card. So um, I'll be talking through the magic cards whether I would I'll be talking through the magic cards whether I think it's a decent pick or not um, and just going through as and when. So first up we have Bush Meat Poacher. This is quite a nice decent card. Um, you'd be surprised how uh, decent getting that life gain is and drawing a card out of it not too bad. So definitely the best card that we've seen so far. Um, that's going to be stood here. The Honey Mammoth. Uh, it's a it's a big beater, but nothing more than that. I don't think um, getting the consistent value or potential value. Oh, it's not liking that, is that? <laughs> oh, it's not liking that, is it? Trying to focus on each thing. <laughs> so I don't think it's as good as this card. Uh, compared to the repeatable value that we can get from the Bushmeat Poacher. Okay, now I am a fan of the Sleep Effect and this one at, and this one at flash speed uh, surprises your opponents and you can do it just before attackers, meaning that you can uh, respond to a lot more situations. So. I really like the Catch Sphere. I've used it in a lot of limited games on Magic Arena so far, so this is definitely going to be my first pick. Uh, this one, Raking Claws. <laughs> Again, it's won so many games for me. Uh, it's a tough one because they both do very different things. Very much blue for the Catch Sphere, um, disrupting that tempo and tapping down an opponent's creature. Whereas Breaking Claws, uh, sort of a surprise attack, giving a creature double strike, both do great jobs. So we'll put both of these out at the moment. They could be our contenders. Garrison Cat, uh, not too bad. I th it's a, basically a functional reprint of uh, Hunted Witness, and it's, it's okay. It could tie in with the human or uh, non-human base strategies if you wanted to build that. Uh, unexpected fans, not too bad. A cute combat trick, but it's not going to be as impactful as the other two cards, so we can disregard that. Mysterious Egg, uh, quite a nice building block with um, our mutate creatures, but, but with the initial quiver of my voice, um, I don't think it's going to be groundbreaking. And again, it's not as impactful as the other two cards. Nice in a mutate deck. Oh, here we go. One of my favorite pieces of removal in the set. Uh, deals damage to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. Um, again, <laughs> just scales so much during a long game. It gets better over time. It is a very decent card. Ugh, I think it's a three-way tie at the moment. Well, this is not a bad pack, actually. All the commons they've been delivering are Sleeper Dark. When Sleeper Dart enters the battlefield, draw a card, sacrifice it, um, target creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Nice tempo, a little bit of uh, card draw. <sighs> I don't think it's as good as the other ones, though. Memory Leak, target opponent reveals his hand. Uh, you may choose an online card from that player's graveyard or hand and exhale it, uh, cycling for one. It's quite a neat effect, um, and the cycling gives it a little bit more versatility, but I don't think we're going to be picking it over the other cards. So onto our uncommons, Bastion of Remembrance. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier token, and whenever a creature you, controls, uh, you control dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So it's gonna be a great card in your, if you're in the aristocrat uh, style build. Outside of that, it's, still pretty good because most games you're going to be having creatures die um, 
and that little token is going to give you a little bit more presence. So that's definitely going to be in our potential winner's row here. The sun is shining on it. It must like it. It's uh, been chosen by God, that one. Uh, so, Primal Empathy. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield. Otherwise, put a 1-1 one, one counter on a creature you control. Um, it's pretty decent and limited. I wouldn't say Constructed likes it as much, but it's giving you the option of drawing a card each turn, or if you don't have the biggest creature, you're going to hopefully get on parity uh, by making it bigger. So it's a win-win, really. Not too bad. And Polywog Symbiote. Um, this is an all-star and a mutate deck. Each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card, then discard a card. Similar to our uh, Bastion of Remembrance, it's going to do a lot of work if you're in that build. So definitely something to consider. Right, on to our rare. Ooh-wee! Wow, look at that. A gem razor alternative artwork. That is beautiful. Uh, reach trample. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. That is gorgeous. Yes, I am a bit of a rare magpie. Just go for the shiniest thing, the, the nicest looking thing. But that is going to do you a lot of work. A 4-4 four, four for 3 is a great rate uh, regardless. And that's if you have the mutate uh, ability or the mutate target. Plus reach and trample, stapled on. And then that is a repeatable effect. You can do that more than once. Destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. Yes, please. That is decent. So for our first Magic Monday, I'm going to put all these cards to one side, if they'll let me. And that is going to be our pack one um, best pick of the pack. Lots of peas. Perfect. Thank you for joining me. You'll see me um, in some future episodes every Monday, in fact, for Magic Monday. So keep tuned for that and hopefully we'll get to pull some even spicier pulls. See you again next time. <laughs> Trying to wave. <laughs> See you again for the next episode of Magic Monday. Cheers.